Hello, Wind. Welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing some more Big Blue Blob Europa Universe House 4. Um, I'm going to bring back my dip map from Burgundy. I was looking at the Age of Discovery stuff and thinking maybe, maybe, even though it's going to throw Provence under the bus. Nah, shoot. Do not have enough individual war score to go for Humiliate. Not even close. Damn. I would have to occupy... If I had been the one to occupy the capital, we'd probably be able to do it. I could try to siege down some of these other forts myself. This guy has been here for a year, and he has exactly three siege status. I think it's a good idea to, to push for that. Just don't like the idea of suffering unnecessary attrition. All right. Well, let's. I guess it's not unnecessary if if it's necessary, right? Uh huh. Right. I don't know. Provence might end the war soon. They would be more likely to end it if I transferred control of some of this land to them. That. They obviously want. They want some of this stuff here. I'm not sure. I mean, it's a defensive war. The AI is a little bit less predictable, I think, in defensive wars. Are you actually going to come and fight me? Okay, Scotland. Nah, disease outbreaks. Yuck. My Alright, John Bro. Anything but a one. Seven's pretty good. Scotland sent down all of their troops with no leader. The Scottish have uh, questionable decision making ability, uh, evidently. Ugh. He got routed and I can't get to him. Yuck. The birth of a permanent taxation system. Gain base tax in exchange for low unrest or let it be. Well, this would probably be the better decision in a long, long, long game. Uh, this might be the better decision short term. Stability could come in handy. Then again, this also raises force limit and stuff. Let's do it the other way. If I had the monarch points to buy base tax, would I spend it on base tax or would I spend it on cores and stability? I'd go with stability. Oh, I could stack wipe that for so much war score. Oh, God. Oh, I should give him a province he can retreat to. Please retreat somewhere that I can reach, sir. Nice. He is going to retreat somewhere I can reach. And he just got completely stack wiped. They still have a lot of troops between all of those little tiny derps, but. And uh, did Portugal's army get routed or destroyed? He's got two infantry, no cav. Looks like he's pretty much done. He's got a fort to siege down, negative 50% chance, hasn't started on the capital. Hopefully my uh, my ally Castile will be capable of spreading out in a, an intelligent way. Lundberg does stuff with Sax Lundberg. Bosnia has a personal union with Serbia. Wallachia has gone to war with them over that they disagree. It's my throne. It's no, no, it's my throne. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. All right. I think my navy is not very good, but it's good enough to maybe stick out and maybe succeed down here. It'd be great if I could get one of my siege leaders up that way instead. He might be coming for me. Yeah, he is. Get this next tick. Come on, get the tick, get the tick. Alright, let's go hide. Excellent, okay.
All right, so if this has fallen, start moving our way north more. He's not gonna let me do that again, is he? Okay, well, we'll just have to finish that siege when we can finish it. Excellent. This was the one siege pip guy. Let's pull over the three siege pip guy instead. Okay, Jumbro should definitely take over if I consolidate. We have 27 war score, and we're waiting on the Castilian army to siege down some of Portugal. Probably able to go down a little bit on maintenance soon. Let's go loot Burgundy instead of our French course. This thing falls, I'll finally be able to get up into here and maybe do some other damage. And actually, if this falls, I can get onto that level 1 fort, which would be great. I do have a Siege Pip guy that's not doing anything. Do you have any Siege Pips? He's got one. Okay, so I can't help you then. You're letting Portugal retrain, man. Where's the Carpet Siege? Alright, let's do Speed 4. Castile is uh, making questionable decisions with his navy. So interesting, he's just sending four light ships with nine transports up into the Irish Sea. What's the worst that could possibly happen, after all? You want to blockade me with six lights? Sneaky, sneaky. He's got those other ships over there, but. Jerk. What a jerk. Provence, I wish you would let me be the war leader, sir. Wow, Eugene is 6 2? Crazy. Nice 9, Nicholas. Wait. I mean, we're going to reinforce in time, but we're taking some heavy casualties in this battle. Nicholas rolling like a boss. Oh my god. Thank god it's the fire phase, not the shock phase that he's got the advantage in. Nicholas not rolling like a boss. Nicholas rolling like a pleb. Well, so much for that. There goes my, uh, my excellent progress on that siege. Great. Alright, retreat here. The Burgundians and all their little minion minions. I remember back in the day when France was that way. France had all the little minions at the beginning of the game and not Burgundy. Minions can be good. Free leaders and stuff. Alright, that's good. Now, he did assume control of my siege, so he didn't give up the siege progress, thank goodness. But it's still not ideal that he did that. That's interesting.
This will obviously end up being a very large battle again. Let's see, combat width right now is uh, 20. You can easily consolidate down. Combat width is only 20. I think I'm just going to send 16. Plus the, uh, the 4 cav. That is not who I want in charge. Where are you, John Burrow? He was in combat, cannot be resigned. He's not in combat. He, he won his battle already. Okay. Let's go fight the uh, the Burgundian troops yet again. How are we looking on tech? Pretty soon-ish. Eugene, again with his fire advantage. I'm confused. I'm about with this 20. Did I accidentally do something wrong here? I thought I deployed... Did I... Somehow not detach the infantry I meant to detach, because I've got... Okay, that's fine. We still deployed properly, it's just I, I thought that I kept 16 and 4. 9 versus a 9 in the shock, okay. It's fine. I mean, fine. Just, just pay for it in blood. Blood and tears. Scotland has landed again. Okay, we're just going to leave seven infantry here. And one of the leaders. And we're going to go fight the Scottish. He's probably retreating behind forts that I can't get to. Maybe not, though. There's no chance he's going to take Normandy yet, so... Let's go chase him first. In the off chance I can actually stack wipe him. There are never as noble rebels. Hmm. I'm not a fan of that. You have high enthusiasm. Mostly due to short length of war. You do have a fair bit of war exhaustion, all things considered. More than I do. Oh my god, it fired! Yes! The Duke of Burgundy! <laughs> yes! Of course it rightfully belongs to France. France gains Cora and Rethel. Feed Rethel to France. Seed Nevers to France. Every owned province to France. Feed it France. We'll take it. Excellent. Now, annoyingly, uh, Austria did take the northern bit, because I did not become emperor, which would have been pretty sick if it had happened. He clearly does have support. All that land for free, cores, no aggressive expansion. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. That means we're no longer at war with that guy, don't have to worry about chasing him down. Uh, let's go ahead then and... Path down that way. You are landing on the 12th. Aragon has rivaled me. That is so fortuitous. Austria is now a great power because they got lucky. I got lucky too, though. Denmark has rivaled Scotland, of all people. Ten fortresses now. I've gained a bunch of fortresses. What do we even pick up? We picked up uh, Picardy, Artois, Rethel. Uh, we picked up all of this region here. I'm sure that uh, Provence is a little bit salty about how that played out. He's like, I was the defender, man. I was supposed to get all this war stuff, and he just took it all. Yep. 
But it did. I sure did. That is amazing. The capital fort disappeared, which means that he instantly won his siege. Oh crap, he actually landed a lot more troops than I expected. When did he suddenly do that? Oh, there was like another army or another... I missed that. When did that happen? Damn it! We had six siege status up there. Retreat on the 25th. That's, that's too far away. This army is going to be in trouble. Meanwhile, we're fighting some stupid little derps down here that shouldn't even exist. Twenty-fifth, come on, you guys can make it. Stop rolling zeros. <laughs> he got the the trait. Runs away from battles. <laughs> you can make states. All right, let's take a look at this. So, state-wise, we've got slots for two more states, and we can make two more states. So, Burgundy definitely, and Wallonia definitely, both. Yes. Now I have a uh, good justification to attack the Emperor, who is allied to freaking everyone. Okay, so... Pretty is not defensive terrain, but the majority of my army's here. I really don't need pop-ups about that guy, just so you know. I'm not actually that interested in it. Ligo has declared war on Thomond. So again, combat width is so narrow that, um... He's got four troops landing in Calais. Let's head up that way. I'll need to get into battle before the end of the month. I'm gonna march around with this large of an army. Um, I think I'm gonna pull some of the most damaged ones off. We'll go down to like just just normal combat width, right? Full combat width for this stage of the game. Portugal lost their war. They ceded Ceuta. Meanwhile, Castile is slowly making progress on maybe taking those two forts. Okay, he'll be there on the 26th. I can be there on the 24th. Excellent. So we'll pick him off. We'll break his siege. We'll end up reinforcing. He might break his siege. He might not. He might just let me take it. Excellent. Lost all siege status there, as expected. Let's not suffer the attrition. Morocco has Aragon rivaled Aragon. Yeah, Morocco has Aragon. Yeah. You don't have any loans. That's a good position to be in. Got some troops landing over here in Normandy. Two stack. Finally down to medium enthusiasm. He's got revolts now. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see if we can find them. Are they? Is it the Lollard one, most likely? Yeah, that looks like a Lollard heresy, I think. It is a very sizable uh, army. Very sizable, indeed. Would be a shame if something were to happen to the English army. He's got a 1 1 1 on tech 3. I think that we need to get to full strength and then reinforce and just go stack wipe him. Bam to bam. I think it's time right now, in fact. Cool. Before we do that, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you guys in the next episode, though. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.